guys. Um, my name is Dewana. I've been a homeowner since 2016. I applied in 2015. I'm a mother of five, a grandmother of one, and um, I'm a medical secretary. Um, Habitat um, gave me the chance to own my own home, um, to get out of subsidized housing and to um, open up a pathway for my kids to have their own home, to know that they can own and not have to rent constantly. <laughs> so yes, um, Habitat has um, been a, a blessing to myself and my family. And without it, I don't think I would have been in my own home now. Ross. I've been a homeowner for four years, four amazing years. And um, I actually started this program thinking this is my last option. There's nothing else I can do. And Mario was being really modest. He, Habitat saves lives pretty much. <laughs> so, and that's what it did. It provided me a foundation that I can build on. And it provided a foundation that my children can start to build on themselves. So for me, Habitat, anytime they call me, I'm showing up. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. Well, I had, I didn't even think about Habitat in the beginning of my uh, quest to be a homeowner. I had participated in two first-time home buyer programs, uh, another program in the city of Miami. And again, I want to say like um, Dewana said, everything was either, they were saying I made too much, which I don't know how, or it was just so overpriced. Like, and I kept saying, I won't be able to live with a $1,600 mortgage. Like, I'll, yes, I'll, I'll be able to pay it, but what else am I gonna be able to pay if my mortgage alone is $1,600? So between that, I tried Section 8, that didn't work. Uh, I was paying rent of like, and I'm complaining or, or saying I didn't want to pay a $1,600 mortgage, but I've, I've paid $1,800 a month for rent. And I just got to the point to where I did not know what else to do. And I happened to be in South Miami Heights and the blitz for South Miami Heights was going on. And I saw it and it was just like, God opened the, the heaven, the gates of heaven and said, here it is. This is what you need to do. So my first attempt didn't go so well. So um, I didn't have everything that was in there and Monica sent the package back. She called me and she said, I'm sending the package back to you because you're missing some items. So when I tell you the turnaround for the return of that package was, I could have beat the post office there because I took the day off from work. I was like, I'm not letting this get away. I don't care how many times I have to go back. I don't care how many times I have to call. Talisa ended up being my worker and by God's grace, thank God for Talisa because I know she was tired of me. I called her morning. I called her afternoon. I called even, there are times like I left messages nine 10 o'clock at night, and she, but she would call me like first thing when she got to work. Sometimes it was 5 a.m., sometimes it was 7.30. I was like, girl, call me anytime you need to call me just to let me know what it is that I need to do. And again, I'll always say it has not been easy, but it has definitely been fair. Aww.